Hello everyone, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and I'm gonna go over screen recording properties and actions in ScreenFlow 4. First thing to do here is go up to the Properties pane and click on the little icon that looks like a TV. And here you have the screen recording properties. Now these work pretty much in the same way as video and audio properties and actions. If you wanna affect an entire clip, just select the clip and change any of the properties. If you want to affect just part of a clip, add a screen recording action to affect only part of the clip. So let's go over a few of the screen recording properties. I'm going to select this first screen recording clip here. And I'm going to zoom in just so we can see this a little bit better, what I'm, what's going on. So the first thing is show the mouse pointer. That's pretty typical, but if you want to get rid of it, just uncheck it and your mouse pointer will go away and you can make that mouse pointer larger by zooming up or zooming down. And then you have a click effect. This allows you to have two different effects. The first one here is radar. So let me move the scrubber into a better position here. And then here you can see the radar effect when you click with the mouse. You have a little expanding red circle attracts attention to the mouse pointer where you're clicking. Back this up again. And the second one is invert. Let me make the mouse pointer a bit larger so you can see better what's going on. This inverts the color of the mouse pointer. So the white will turn to black and the black will turn to white. Let me show you that. See that happen real quick there. All right. So let's get rid of that. And the other thing is you can choose different pointers. Reduce the size back to normal here. So you can choose a circle that's a light colored circle, like so, or a dark, or a square, or you can actually choose your own image. Let's choose an image. I created one, a little gold star, star.png here. And there's a little gold star that's going to be used as the mouse pointer. And when you do the click effect invert, you can see that it inverts the color whenever you click. You can see that there. All right. So next is opacity. You can change the opacity. You can make that mouse pointer more transparent. You can also have a sound play when you make a click. Just check sound on click. And just click the little arrow here to expand this. You can change the volume of the sound and you can select your own sound. So let's hear what the default sound sounds like. So that's the default sound. And I made my own sound, a little popping noise. So I'm gonna click this pop.wav file, and let's play that again. So that's a little bit different of a sound. Create any sound you want. Gonna unselect that. And the next thing is showing the keystrokes. This shows any keystroke that you type into your keyboard. I need to zoom out to show you this properly. Turn this view back to normal. We'll check the second screen recording click clip here and check show keystrokes. Now I'm going to type into a text editor here and you can see the keystrokes being displayed. So let's play that. And you can see the keystrokes being displayed as I type them. Now you can show all keystrokes or you can show only modifier keys. You can change the height of this bar here, make it a bit larger or smaller. Let's return that back to normal. And you can change the position on the screen. You can raise it up or lower it. And you can also change the font here and some other options. Let's click on this F. You can change the font. Go to Geneva, say there. You can change the font color. Let's say we want it red. 
You can bold and italicize here, change the background color. Let's say we want that a light gray. Change the outline color. Say we want that as blue. Outline stroke width, change that. And how rounded the corners are. You can go to the left for a more square look and to the right for more rounded corners. Down here you can change how long the keystroke is visible for. If your keystrokes are more than, say here, a second apart, it will display the keystroke for one second or whatever you set this value to. But if the keystrokes are faster than one second apart, it will display the keystrokes as they happen. And you can have the keystrokes displayed, you can have that display fade in and fade out by changing these values. So, if you want to add a screen recording action, just place your cursor where you want to add that action and highlight the proper screen recording and click add screen recording action. Let me zoom in here, zoom in here so you can see this properly. And just like video and audio actions, if your if your scrubber is at the end, it will affect from that point after. If your scrubber is at the beginning of this action, it will affect from there and prior. So you can also change the duration of the screen recording action. Let's say you can click on the edge and expand it to however far you need it to go. And you can also click on the screen recording action and drag it to the left and right to position it where you need it in the timeline. So that's using screen recording properties and actions in ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.